Algebra 2 Cram, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Key Facts, Trigonometric Identities, Formulas, and Equations. Question 8. The secant of x minus 2 times 2 the secant of x minus 1 is equivalent to 0. For the complete cram session, inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com for pricing and also inquire about other subject areas. All right, let's delve in. Review question eight. If the secant of x minus two times two the secant of x minus one equals zero, then x terminates in one quadrant one only, two quadrants one and two only, three quadrants one and four only, or four quadrants one, two, three, and four. Press pause and I'll give you a moment to strategize and formulate your solution. All right, hopefully by now you've come up with an answer. If not, that's totally fine. Let's uh, see how it's done. All right, so here you have your equation and everything is equivalent to zero. So what you're going to do is set each factor equivalent to zero and solve, okay? So you have that the secant of x minus two is equivalent to zero and to the secant of x minus one is equivalent to zero. And by doing this step, you're exercising what's called the zero product property, okay? And the zero product property simply states that if A times B is equivalent to zero, then A equals zero or B equals zero or both equals zero, okay? because a product of factors is going to be equivalent to zero if and only if one or more of the factors is equivalent to zero. So whenever you factor in this manner, you're always exercising the zero product property. All right, that was a little aside. Let's continue. Therefore, we have when we subtract two from both uh, sides, the secant of x is equal to 2, and um, or we also have when we subtract 1 from the left hand, well, when we add 1 to the left hand side and also to the right hand side and then divide by 2, we wind up with that the secant of x is equivalent to 1 half, okay? Now it's time to put on our thinking caps to really solve this riddle. You have to recall that the secant of x is basically the reciprocal of the cosine of x or 1 over the cosine of x. Therefore, 1 over the cosine of x is equivalent to 2 or 1 over the cosine of x is equivalent to 1 half. Okay, so now the next thing you have to do is take the reciprocals in order to figure out the cosine because this will make it easier for us to determine which quadrant x terminates in, okay? So when we flip or take the reciprocal of this expression, we get that the cosine of x is equivalent to 1 half, or when we flip this expression, we get that the cosine of x is equivalent to 2. Now notice that um, both of the answers are positive and the cosine of x can only be positive in quadrants one or quadrants four because you have to remember that the cosine is the expression of um, the x-coordinate divided by the rate that the um, inter intersects with the origin to form the angle theta, okay, or the angle x. But we can't use double x here, so we're just gonna call it theta. 
So the x-coordinate is going to be positive in quadrants 1 and quadrants 4, as shown here. And the ray is a measurement of length, so that's always going to be positive. So cosine is basically equivalent to, um, we're going to say, x over r. OK? All right, and remember that r is like always going to be positive, so we can say the absolute value of r because it's just a measurement of the ray, and r is really an expression for the hypotenuse, okay? All right, so another thing that you have to know is the um, value of cosine rather the range of the values of cosines. Cosine ranges from, I think, a value of negative one to one. So negative two, I mean, two is an outlier. The magnitude two is too far outside the range. So this can never be um, the value of a cosine. It's like an extraneous result, okay? We're gonna disregard it. Now we have um, our cosine of x, and we know that it's either going to be um, positive in quadrant 1 or quadrant 4, because as I said before, I'm going to repeat this one more time, the x-coordinate is positive in these quadrants. Therefore, the correct answer is going to be answer choice 3, quadrants 1 and 4 only. All right. Okay. Good luck.